Hello everybody. In this episode, we are going to be talking about a very important yet little known uh, thing in plumbing and it's called your glues. There is lots and lots of different kinds of glues and solvents and cements out there. Uh, and I'm going to go over some of the ones that we use. Uh, to start this off, let's talk about the sizes. As you can see, there's a lot of different sizes here. And that's all they are. You can get any type of glue pretty much in any size you want. Now, if you're a homeowner and you just went to the little hardware store, picked up a couple fittings, you're gonna fix some little line underneath your house. Uh, only glue in a couple joints. These little cans are gonna be just fine for you. Uh, this is a four ounce can. You're only gonna get a couple fittings out of a little can like this. You're not gonna be gluing a whole bunch of DWV together. Uh, but the thing about the little can is, as soon as you open the lid on any of these cans and that air gets in there, that glue is starting to dry on you. It is starting to cure on you. You've got a week or so. Uh, don't think you're going to make a little repair, put this cap on there tight, chunk it in your toolbox, and then, oh, maybe I'll need it in five years. Well, you go back to it in five years, it's going to be hard as a rock. It's not going to be worth anything. So if you're only gluing a couple fittings together, you're not going to want a big giant can. You can get by with just a little can, save yourself some money, and then when you're done with the job, chunk the can. But they do, they come in the four ounce size, they come in an eight ounce size, they do come in a 16 ounce size, which is, this is a pretty good size for a service plumber. It's nice and handy and you can drag it around in a crawl space. Uh, this is the size that we prefer, the big 32 inch, or 32 ounce. Um, this seems to work the best for us. You can handle it pretty well and there's a lot of glue in here. Now on our residential new construction houses, uh, when doing DWV, we pretty much go through about two of these cans per house, or a can and a half or so. But here again, once you open that can and air gets in there, you got a week or so before it's completely dried out and it's really not that good for you anymore. But we get a good deal on them. They also do have bigger sized cans. Um, but that's it on our sizing. All right, let's talk about your different types of glue. Uh, I've got a lot of varieties here that um, we use locally. There's a lot of other glues out there that we don't use around here, uh, but people use them in different parts of the country uh, pretty much every day. We're not using the all weather and the low temperature stuff. Uh, our temperature pretty moderate around here. But let's go down here and we'll start with this first one, um, the little red can. This is an all-purpose cement. Now, the manufacturer says that this is good for CPVC, it's good for your PVC DWV, and it's also good for ABS, which is that black plastic pipe. Uh, we don't see a whole lot of the ABS anymore, but you can also get glue that's just for the ABS pipe. You can get glue that's just for your PVC and your CPVC. So this isn't really something I'm gonna have in my toolbox or use a whole lot. Um, but some service plumbers that I've talked to said that uh, this stuff is great if you're trying to repair an old busted section of some of that black ABS pipe and you're wanting to put PVC back, you can use this glue to glue those two together. Um, but like I said, not something I use a whole lot or would run into. This next one is a regular clear PVC uh, glue. We're going to hang on to that when we get talking about our weights and stuff. Uh, and then I've got two here. These are your CPVC glues. Most of them are the yellow, but I did end up picking up some of the medium orange. Uh, these are those weights. The medium's a little bit thicker than the regular, uh, which would bring us uh, to our rain or shine glues, these blue glues. I'm not a fan of these. Now, uh, many, many years ago when I was doing irrigation work and stuff like that, uh, rain or shine was the go-to glue. This, the rain or shine is rain or shine. You can glue pipe together in the rain with this, in wet locations with this. When you're dealing with irrigation pipes, you're in a ditch most of the time. Uh, we used it, it worked very well back then, but what I found out in plumbing is that this rain or shine glue, it, it's like super glue, it gets brittle over time and it can break. Um, and I have seen a lot of that. Fitting's blowing off and we show up and it's rain or shine glue. The next one in that family is your blue lava. This is also a type of rain or shine glue. Now this is a lot hotter, which the chemical reaction is hotter. This stuff, you get it on your hands and you can feel it, it's hotter. But this one really displaces some water 
uh, a lot greater than that one does. And uh, they say that you can glue your pipe together and drop it right down underwater and it'll set up and everything, but I don't know. I don't trust it. Uh, the next we got in our little family, and that's why I saved this one here. Uh, these are your PVC cements. Now this is the one we use, which is a minute, uh, medium weight, but I've got a regular and I've got a heavy here. And there's also a heavy, heavy duty. Uh, but what that is, if, if I take this regular and I shake it, you hear, can you hear how liquidy that is? Versus your heavy. It's kind of a glug, glug, glug. And that's what it is. It's the viscosity. It's the thickness of it. Uh, your regular is great when you're dealing with like a little one inch pipe and stuff like that. It's really fast glue. It cures really, really fast. Um, but you're not going to get the coverage on say like a three inch pipe with your regular or your light glues. They're just too runny. They're not, they're not going to give you that good thick seal. Uh, we prefer the medium. This seems to work the best for us. Um, and then of course the heavy duty is a lot thicker. And what I've found with this is kind of the bigger the pipe, the bigger or the heavier the duty you want, the thicker the glue you want. This heavy duty, if you got some old pipe that might have some little nicks or something in it and you're trying to use that, this, this is going to fill in those cracks and give you a better glue joint on that. Uh, but what I found is this works the best for us. It's got a good set time. That set time is when you glue that pipe together and you, and you go turn that fit and you get a little twisty twist out of it and then it locks into place. Uh, with your heavier, you're going to get a lot more twisty twist out of it until it locks down on you. But that's pretty much it. Um, we're not going to use the light. We're not going to use the heavy. We're going to go for this guy. Now we're at primer. Uh, primer is important. I got two different kinds here. I got your clear and I got your purple primer. Uh, these two are exactly the same. It's just the purple has a purple dye in it so that our inspectors can see that you actually used the purple primer uh, to prep that pipe. And um, that's what the primer is there for. Primer is going to do a couple different things. One of the things it's going to do is it's going to clean off any kind of contaminants, any kind of oils or greases or dirt or any little nicks or burrs, anything it picked up from the manufacturer to the supply house, to your warehouse, to your job site. Uh, that's what the primer is for, is to clean that pipe, is to get any kind of foreign uh, chemicals off of it, and it also softens the outside of that pipe. It's actually starting that chemical uh, breakdown. It's, it's melting into that, that pipe so you get a better glue joint. Um, these cements, they're not like Elmer's glue that just, when the water evaporates out of them, they just get hard. No, this is more like a model glue where it's actually melting that plastic. Uh, the primer starts that. You can't just prime, some, prime up some fittings or prime up some pipe and throw them off in the corner and let them sit for two hours. It's going to stop. That chemical reaction is going to stop. That outer shell is going to get hard again and you're going to have to prime it again uh, before you glue it. Priming and gluing should happen within seconds of each other. Prime it, glue it. A lot of the guys tape these cans together so they've got them right there. Prime it, glue it. And uh, that's the way you do it. No pre-priming. Um, years ago, I saw a group of guys, uh, not work, didn't work for us, but they thought the trick was to take the primer and pour it into the glue to dye the glue purple <laughs> so that they could pass inspection. Well, that didn't really do them any good. Uh, you're actually making the glue joints worse by doing that. But yes, you're gonna prime it to clean all the oils and greases and nicks and burrs off of the pipe and then you're immediately going to glue it. You're going to put that pipe together and turn it and twist it. So uh, let's glue a piece of pipe together. All right, now we're at the easy part, right? <laughs> uh, we are going to glue and prime it and I went out to the truck and got my glue and primer. Stuff's not that old. I just duct taped them together as you see. Um, now. I am typically a complete mess when it comes to primer. I will get alien blood all over everything. But let's see how I do. Alright, you're going to want to go around the outer edge here. Round and round and round. And yep, you should blur those letters. But just a good round and round. 
There it goes. Blurring them letters out. When you blur them letters out, you know that that primer's doing its trick. So you're gonna do around the pipe there. You're gonna do around the inside of the fit in here. Round and round. And it doesn't matter how sloppy you get on the fittings because nobody's ever really gonna see it. But you wanna get in there, get in there good and thick and get that stuff happening. And yes, this stuff does have a smell to it. Get on there, hit that one more time. Yeah, see, I can feel it. I can feel it's getting all gooey. Starting to pull some hairs off my little daubers. And then get your glue. Go around and around with the glue. See how my daubers turning purple there? That's what you want to see. You want to glue the pipe and you want to glue in the fitting. You want to get plenty of glue up in there. You don't want this to leak later on. It's a lot last thing you want is it's 6 30 at night you're putting a test on a house and that thing leaks on you now always put the fitting on and give it a twist now you gotta hold it if you don't hold it see that right there you see what that thing did now you're gonna want to reclue that but did you see it i wasn't expecting it to take off like that but it sure did uh you have got to hold this stuff and i really i wanted to show you all that uh, but I wasn't expecting it to take off like that. But let's put it back on there and do that again. But yeah, you're going to push it all the way up on there, give it a little twist, and hold it because you don't want that stuff jumping off. Let's see, watch it come off of there. And once it starts coming off, it's going to be harder to put back on. But you're going to want to hold that. And something I've noticed, the bigger the fittings, the worse that is. I, I think the three inch fittings are probably the worst out of all of them. Uh, I don't get to mess with too much of the really, really big stuff, but some fours, sixes, and eights about as far as I go. But that was something. I, I wanted to show you all that and I'm glad it did that. But there you go. That's pretty much how you're going to glue a joint together. Uh, it's not hard. Alright, well there you go. That's my little video on uh, your different types of glue and uh, how to use your glue and primer. Uh, I'm really glad that fit and jumped off like that because that's something that happens in the field. You push those things on, you got to hold it there for uh, a couple seconds, 10, 20 seconds, or it's going to back off like that on you. Um, I mean, I've had some literally push you off the ladder. They were pushing on you so hard because of that chemical reaction, but that's what you want. You want it to do that. If it's not pushing back against you like that, it's not hot enough, and you let your primer dry or your glue's old, and glue can get old. Uh, but thanks a lot, guys. I hope you get to see my next one.